Lyndon LaRouche has called upon you to take up the fight to reorganize the current bankrupt international monetary system into a new functional credit system. Certain widespread delusions must be expelled and the valid scientific alternatives employed in their place. The belief that money has any self-evident value outside of its use by the government of a sovereign nation or that the market can statistically determine the right price outside of the subsuming physical economic process of a national economy. This deadly incompetence behind today's monetary system lies in liberalism, the historic fraud of Paolo Sarpi, Descartes, and their modern economic expression, Adam Smith's invisible hand of the market. By ruling out the dynamic conceptions of principle of which the human mind is capable, Liberalism limits accepted knowledge to the assumed self-evident truth of sense perception. By enforcing this system of empiricism, the elite circles of the empire have induced cultures to accept the arbitrary authority of money, money which is controlled not by nations, but by supranational banking systems. The empire uses these usurious banking operations to control trade and limit development, and any culture which moves to break these shackles falls prey to orchestrated warfare of the form of the British Empire's Seven Years' War, warfare of the type we see engulfing this planet today. The basis for defeating this empire lies in the unique culture of America. It lies in Nicholas of Cusa's vision of a future European civilization which embodies the highest ideal of man, a culture which took shape in the colonies of Massachusetts Bay beginning in the 1620s. This planted the seeds for the later eruption of that culture, culminating in Ben Franklin's Leibnizian Declaration of Independence and Alexander Hamilton's establishment of a full constitutional credit system. However, since the effects of Truman's Keynesian treason against FDR took their intended toll upon our United States, especially since the August 1971 disruption of the sovereignty of the U.S. dollar, a parasitical form of monetary system has sucked the world's physical economy dry. Two urgent reforms are needed. First, the uniqueness of the U.S. Constitution as a basis for a credit system must be applied to guide a reorganization in bankruptcy of the world's present monetary system, replacing it with a global credit system. Fictitious monetary claims will be written off, and valid assets will be converted into values defined by international agreement among sovereign nations. Second, through the application of Lyndon LaRouche's science of physical economy, a true physical measurement of economic value must be defined by recognizing the unique role of human creativity in an economic process, as typified by the application of Vladimir Vernatsky's distinction between the lithosphere, biosphere, and noosphere. We present this page to give you, the citizen, a deeper understanding of the history and concepts just outlined. On this page, you will find the video material which you need to understand more deeply this history of the scientific incompetence of monetarism, the historical and philosophical roots of the credit system, and the needed solutions for today.